I have a new video for you guys because I am shocked by Chrissy Teigen's behavior. She has tried to play the part of America's sweetheart, but her past reveals her true colors. The way that Chrissy has spoken about children should be concerning to everyone, especially for the fact that she is a mother herself. Today, we're going to revisit some of her old tweets and try to figure out what Chrissy was thinking. So let's get into it. As you guys know, Chrissy Teigen is a model. She's the mother of two and she's the wife of John Legend. They got married in September 2013 and they've been an iconic couple. They're always at the award shows, on TV. At one point she was hosting her own show, The Lip Syncing Show, which was so ridiculous and honestly America was in love with Chrissy. But recently we have been talking about her beef with Courtney Stodden and this has opened some old wounds when it comes to Chrissy and her problematic tweets. You guys may have seen my video on Chrissy and Courtney's beef because back in the day when Courtney was 16 years old, Chrissy would message her on Twitter telling her to take her own life. Why in the world would a grown adult do that and just bully this girl, Courtney, for so long? Well, it wasn't just Courtney because it looks like Chrissy has a pattern of her own. Not only is it a bullying streak, but it's a disgusting, like, I don't even know how to describe it. The way that she has spoken about children and toddlers on Twitter should be illegal. I don't understand how she's gone under the radar for so long when it comes to this. I mean, people have brought up her tweets throughout the years, but she deleted like 60,000 tweets and then tried to erase everything she said. But as you guys know, the internet lives forever. I personally don't use Twitter that often, so I didn't know that Chrissy tweeted all of these foul things out. But now that I know this, it makes me think that maybe Chrissy isn't who she tries to act like she is. This woman has an evil mind, and I don't know if she's part of some like, you know, conspiracy elite group or something, but this doesn't add up. Before we take a look at Chrissy's old tweets, I do want to give you guys a disclaimer and a quick tutorial on how tweets can be easily faked. There are plenty of websites out there that you can create your own tweets from and you could pretty much make it from any account with any name. So as we go through this video, I did go and try to fact check all of the tweets that I am showing you and I'm pretty sure all of them came from Chrissy's account, but I wanted to give the disclaimer that I understand that some could have been faked and a lot of the times celebrities are accused of things they did not tweet. But Chrissy has addressed some of these tweets that we're reviewing today, so I'm pretty sure all of them came from her. Her and her sick mind. If you guys haven't heard of Toddlers and Tierras, it's a popular television show from a few years back and it pretty much had exactly what's in the name, Toddlers and Tierras, and they were competing in pageants. And this was a show that Chrissy would tweet out about quite often. I guess she was a big fan for whatever reason. I'm going to show you guys a series of tweets that she has made in reference to this show and I want to block out some words so I'm going to try my best to explain it to you guys. This one she wrote, I just saw a baby that looked like an adult star using the P word, like a trashy do nothing adult star. Is this wrong to think? <laughs> well, um, first off Chrissy, very disrespectful to the adult entertainment industry and then second off, why are you comparing a baby to one of those? Yes, it is wrong to think. I guess there was once a boy on the show and she wrote, a little boy in the pageant now? Finally, some eye candy for me in cabs. So um, again, ooh, ooh, what you are a grown woman at this point. What, I, eye candy for a child? A little boy. She said little boy too. Oh gosh. Seeing little girls do the splits half, you know, dressed is just dot, dot, dot. I want to put myself in jail. Toddlers in tears. Hold on. We have to break down this one. So she's talking about little girls, obviously not wearing much, um, doing splits. And it makes her want to, seeing little girls makes you want to do what? Da, 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 I, I want to put myself in jail, which would insinuate that she wanted to do something to one of these like little girls that she saw on the screen doing the splits on Toddlers in Tierra. Like why, why, who had the thought process? Like, even in 2011, I hate when people are like, that was 10 years ago. Was this, I was here 10 years ago. Was this 
acceptable back then too? Why? Someone please explain to me. In this tweet, she wrote, It always weirds me out how strong little toddlers' tummies can look. And I aware of how absolutely disturbing that sounds. So she probably meant I'm aware. And um, yes, it is disturbing. I don't know why you're looking at how strong their tummies look. Is she watching the show and thinking about this? Like, what is going on? Here's another Toddlers in Tierra's tweet because some guy named Chad Kramer, Chad, was asking everyone on Twitter, what does a guy wear to one of these Toddler in Tierra parties? And she actually replied to his tweet and said, I'm pretty sure she means a belly shirt with a small hot toddler on it saying, number one, duh, which I'm not too sure what she's trying to say here, but it's obviously inappropriate. One of those like 60,000 tweets that she ended up deleting. This next tweet, I'm not too sure what she's referring to in the beginning because she writes, oh man, I confused doubt with notes on a scandal. Man, I wanted to see some grossness between a hot teacher and a kid. Man, aw, man. Well, again, I don't know what she means by doubt and notes on a scandal. I think she's like referring to something and this is kind of taken out of context. But the ending of it is, again, concerning. She wanted to see what? She wanted to see some grossness between a hot teacher and a kid. Why does she, it seems like she really likes the young, like why does she, it's almost a theme here. This one is just straight up bizarre and I'm honestly concerned for her health. She wrote, I like to add a pinch of baby powder to the flour when I fry chicken. So it smells tender toddler booty when the warm grease slides over my lips. Mmm, pinches nipple. Ugh, I hate that word. The N word, I can't say that. The, I can't even say that. It's not that word, but the N-I-P, ooh, I don't know why I hate, I just always hated that word. Anyways, um... Why is she putting baby powder inside of the fried chicken and also the reference to the toddler and the booty? It just, it doesn't sound like a, a, a correct or like a normal reference. Why would you even try to make that connection between the two? Also consuming baby powder, I doubt she does that, but wouldn't that be really bad for her health? We're going through a bunch of tweets today, but I think this next one is probably the worst one in my opinion because she references this man named Anthony Weiner, who is pretty much a U.S. representative who got called out for doing horrendous things. Like, he should have never been in power in the first place. Like, literally a convicted horrible man, horrible person. You probably shouldn't even bring up his name ever again because he sucks. Well, Chrissy Teigen thought it would be cute one day to tweet out, on June 12th, 2011, I'm about to Anthony Weiner this kid, which I don't know what she would have actually done to the kid that would have been like representative of this Anthony guy, but what? Like, again, what? This is so gross to me and that she thought it was funny for some reason. Like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do these do that to me. It's like, it's like joking about the R word. It is so far from okay and I don't know how she got a pass on this. On my channel, I try to stay away from conspiracy theories just because I know they're against like YouTube rules and just because a lot of times they're not pretty. Like I don't, I talk about a lot of factual things on my channel. So I don't want to like talk about things that aren't factual because I usually like to stick to the facts, but I do want to acknowledge there are conspiracies out there about like food references, um, specifically pizza. And there's also that man with the island and his flight log. And I can't even say his name. I'm sure on YouTube, I don't even know, nor do I even really want to acknowledge these people, but a lot of people believe that Chrissy Teigen is in the wraps with all of these gross Hollywood elites, and honestly, I wouldn't doubt it, and I found a few tweets that did make me question, like, like, the pizza thing, which I honestly never really looked into that whole situation, but I'm like, wait, why is Chrissy, like, referring to these things? Like, I'm going to jail over pizza. Mm, why would you go to jail over pizza? Here are a few more pizza related tweets. Starting from the top, she wrote, I want pizza. And then the next one, she wrote, Brad Pitt just handed us pizza. Which honestly, I think maybe she just meant that literally, like Brad Pitt just handed them actual pizza. So when I saw that tweet, I was like, mm, maybe she means literally, but also what if she didn't? And that's like another phrase for something horrible. Like, oh God, like 
That's why I don't like these conspiracies because it takes my mind to places that I don't want to go. And then finally, the last tweet, she wrote, I woke up this morning with a pizza on my chest and ranch dressing all over me. So if you think I'm too good for this, you are sadly mistaken. Again, maybe that just actually happened to her. Like the pizza references, you don't actually know if they're talking about pizza or not. So that's what I want to stay out of that realm. But there's no conspiracy when it comes to this tweet because this is straight up foul. Obviously, I have to block out some of the words, but she is talking about the drink Pedialyte. She's doing a little play on words and she wrote skinny, you know, gross people drink Pedialyte. Again, why is she making fun of like criminals who <laughs> take advantage of children? I mean, maybe she thought it was cute because of the drink, but really like that's your humor. I would love to see the type of person who would laugh at this. Like, oh, like, oh my God, like, that's so funny, retweet. Like, who? Please show your name. Please stand up. This type of comedy and humor, I, it just, it goes in one ear and out the other. Another tweet I cannot get out of my head is this one, where she wrote, I'm bored. Really want to watch kids give birth. Where can I watch teens giving birth? MTV? I mean, that doesn't make sense, but I'll try. I think she's making fun of teen moms, but like, again, a weird reference. And also just disrespectful to those women. Like, okay, make fun of teenage moms. Great. Like, they aren't already struggling with what they're going through. Make them feel even worse about themselves. It reminds me of like Courtney Stodden and actually that actress. Remember in 2013, she was literally getting an Oscar that night for her performance. She is a, again, a young girl and Chrissy Teigen is making fun of her calling her cocky. It's clear to me that Chrissy definitely doesn't have that like stand up for women mentality or like feminism mentality because she always makes fun of other women, even children, women, little girls. Like I said earlier, Chrissy Teigen deleted thousands and thousands of tweets, but it wasn't before we took a screen grab of a bunch. And one of those bizarre tweets involved eating humans. Chrissy tweeted out, if you said eat this one bite of human and you can eat any other meat for the rest of your life, or Chrissy, you eat turkey forever, I would eat human. Which maybe she just hates turkey. I mean, I get it. I don't really love lunch meat either, but she actually confirmed like this on a, a podcast or something that she would eat like human. And I feel like maybe Chrissy just tries to fish for headlines. She, you know, herself isn't that like, I don't want to say... <laughs> She's very relevant because she's made herself relevant with her husband and her friends and such, but she's not like a singer. She's not like creating like, you know, videos for us to watch. It's a lot of random entertainment here and there. And I feel like headline grabbing is a big part of her mission and her, you know, celebrity. It really revolves around her saying ridiculous things. If the person okayed it, I would eat a human. If you were at a very yeah. fancy restaurant and they were like a tiny piece of human meat. No, no, no. But what she said about those children in those tweets earlier are not ridiculous. Those are sick and very concerning. I mean, why was she, you know, making these children, these like toddlers and tiaras so sick? I know I'm gonna have to blank out that word, but like maybe you guys know what I mean. Like she's trying to make these children like adults when they're not adults and treating them as such. Looking at their splits, making her want to go to jail. Like, ew, Chrissy, get out of here. Chrissy has addressed some of the tweets and she actually wrote out, I actually deleted 60,000 tweets because I cannot stand you idiots anymore and I'm worried for my family. Finding me talking about toddlers and tiaras in 2013 and thinking you're some sort of operative. When these tweets first started circulating, I guess Chrissy was extremely defensive and, you know, telling everyone that she's far from one of those creeps, even though she tweeted out these things herself. I mean, even confirming that in that tweet, talking about her toddler and Tierra's tweets. And I always said, if you've had that mindset in the past, like, I mean, people can always change, but I don't even know how you get there. And once you get there, how do you get out of there? I guess Chrissy would probably call me a big loser because someone asked her, why are people even checking on your tweets to see if they've been deleted? And she replied, they're losers. You know why? I think a person who sees a child in a compromising situation and then makes a joke about it at their own expense Spence is a big loser and that's just my opinion. I don't think any of her tweets were funny. I don't think they were cool and I don't think they even aligned with the show at all. It was all just extremely unnecessary commentary about toddlers. 
In recent years, Chrissy has slowed down on her Twitter use because her past has come back to haunt her, and I'm sure she is embarrassed about it, but she still does things that I think are trying to catch headlines, but also put children in compromising situations. When I first saw this photo online, I really didn't like freak out about it because I was like, you know what, don't try to make this moment gross when it's not. But after reviewing some of Chrissy's tweets, I feel like she's just a gross person, so when you do see these type of things, your mind can't help but to go back to those horrible tweets where she was talking about a boy in a pageant and how that was eye candy to her. People have actually voiced these concerns to Chrissy. Someone replied to one of her tweets saying, Lord, please save that child from suffering it will endure from those parents. May the cycle end with him. God bless. That is a scary tweet because they said, uh, hope the cycle ends with him. Like, what do you mean? That they just all like go away or that their children do not reproduce? She quote retweeted it and said, if Twitter doesn't do something about this actually scary messages she's receiving, I'm going to have to go. Which she did end up leaving Twitter, but I feel like it's a little bit hypocritical that she is so bothered by this tweet, but like her old tweets don't bother her. She's calling those people losers for bringing it up, but... <laughs> This tweet where they're pretty much praying that your son doesn't get exploited, I don't think is anything compared to her past tweets. But again, I don't know what they mean by that part, may the cycle end with him. That part's a little bit frightening. So Chrissy did end up leaving Twitter and she was out. This all happened relatively recently. And she wrote a whole goodbye on her page, claiming that Twitter was a little bit too negative for her and that she needed to get out of there. Another thing that's hypocritical, she's complaining about the negativity on Twitter when she really brought the negativity to life on this platform. We opened up this video talking about Courtney Stodden and how Chrissy Teigen would wish, you know, death on her when she was only 16 years old. So if Chrissy's going to talk about negativity on the internet, why don't we talk about these tweets where she's literally tweeting a 16 year old, I hate you, asking her what type of drugs that she's using, calling her an idiot, asking her if she has family, so degrading to her. In one tweet, she even wishes her a dirt nap, and I think we all know what that means. Thankfully, Courtney has been calling out Chrissy, and we talk all about these tweets and everything in a previous video I posted on my channel, so definitely go check that out. But since that video, Chrissy has actually apologized to Courtney. Chrissy wrote, Not a lot of people are lucky enough to be held accountable for all their past BS in front of the entire world. I'm mortified and sad at who I used to be. I was insecure, attention-seeking troll. I am ashamed and completely embarrassed at my behavior, but that is nothing compared to how I made Courtney feel. I have tried to connect with Courtney privately, but since I publicly fueled all this, I want to also publicly apologize. I am so sorry to Courtney. I hope you can heal now knowing how deeply sorry I am, and I'm sorry that I let you guys down. Chrissy has really let her fans down, and I believe that this positive facade that she puts on entertainment news and things like that is just all pretty much fake, because even this apology to Courtney wasn't really sincere. She claims she's trying to reach out to Courtney, but Courtney actually posted on her Instagram page that um, she's never reached out to me, and she still has her blocked on Twitter, so I feel like if Chrissy was actually really sorry, she would have figured out a way to, um, get in contact with Courtney. It's not that difficult, especially when you are Chrissy Teigen, you could probably get Courtney on the phone within 30 minutes, but that just shows Chrissy's desire to actually make it better. She did not publicly tweet out about this until her sponsors started getting notified and started getting pissed because they felt like they didn't want their brand associated with this. It's always when the sponsors come in that they actually start feeling bad. That's why I believe that Chrissy doesn't feel bad at all for any of this. For the tweets about the toddlers, for the tweets about Courtney, for any of the bullying she's done online, and I think she needs a more sincere apology. There is so much pain and negativity she has put out into the world using her platform, and there's going to have to be a lot done to reverse all of that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment below what you think about Chrissy Teigen and those old tweets, because I am shooketh. Like, how did she get away talking about toddlers like that? I just don't understand it. She can be added into the big list of Hollywood creeps. But I'm going to put my email here on the screen. If you guys ever want to email me video ideas, feel free to do so. Or anything else on Chrissy, because I put out my video on Chrissy and I woke up with like 18 emails. So thank you all of you guys for sending me the receipts for this video. I hope Chrissy has learned to not 
tweet out like this. I feel like when I was young, even like <laughs> as a young boy, they used to tell me, uh, you know, what you put on the internet, it's going to be out there forever. So be careful. And I don't know why, but it seems like Chrissy kind of missed that message. Like, why would you ever think it's okay to put those things out on the internet? But that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to send anything to my PO box, I've got it listed below. I've got like one thing, but I'm going to hold off on that. And I will see you in a new video soon. Bye, guys.